Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are having fun coding in C++. So today's video, we are going to talk about const and enum variables. We are also going to look at formatting output and also header files. So let's dive in. And first of all, let's look at the const variable. So what const variable does is that it is just similar to the uh, normal integer or other type of variables but over here it just is saying that if you assign a value over here you cannot reassign that you can like what it means is that you cannot do x equal 4 later on that's what it means so if you do that let's see what's gonna happen so as you can see it's already is giving me an error. It's not letting me doing that. It just said expression must be modifiable. So you can do that for const. So constant is like all the time it will be that. It means in C++ we can define a variable as a const and but it does not change for the life of the program. So that's the meaning of const. After that, we are going to take a look at enum variables. So C++ also allows for enumerated constants. This means the programmer can create a new variable type and then assign a finite number of values to it. And let's see what I was talking about. So for example, let's say we have enum month and we have let's say so in this example the enum variable month has 12 possible values and let's let's say let's see how we can use this so so the way you can define the variable is this way so as you can see it's already showing us our variable type which we uh, made it ourselves. So, so uh, let's see. Oops. So over here, first month. Oh, um, oh we made a mistake here. So now it's gonna work for us so if you if you uh, use the C out object and the uh, stream input operator and then let's uh, output uh, what the best month is So let's save it and let's run it. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, the best month is at zero. So this is a demonstration for the use of the enum variables. So after this, let's look at an example for formatting output. So to format data, we can use the escape sequences we have seen in the previous videos like uh, backslash n or for a new line or backslash t for a tab so these are something you don't have to include any new libraries so we can also format the output by using the io main ip library and just like an an include we can use that as well so once it is included you can format output using the io main library for example we can set the width of an output using the set w command. So let's see what I was talking about. So what you would like to do over here is you need to include that first. So include io main ip and then that you close that and then what you'd like to do is the following.
prison let's set the width to 10 and let's put some hash sign over here as you can see and let's run the code so as you can see over here int is taking four four spaces and then we have six more left and float is taking one two three four five six so we have four more characters and after that we have the hash signs so this is how you can um, set the width and create your own format so after that let's take a look how we can use the header files traditionally these files are called header files and they have a .hpp extension although any extension will work header file contains the information about how to do a task and the main program contains information about what to do so let's see how a header file works with simple um, hello world program we wrote a long time ago so let's let's uh, reconstruct that hello world programs all right let's save it and instead of using these we want, would like to make a new file so let's call this main.hpp let's save it and let's take uh, let's take three of these and cut that paste it over here now in order to include this main.hpp what we would do over here is you do pound sign include and then double quotation and inside the double quotation you would write main.hpp and then save it and if we run this we would see the hello world we wrote like uh, three videos ago um, so let's see it so as you can see it just printed the hello world over here so one other thing is that when you're modifying your code you have to make sure uh, it's the correct file if you make a mistake over here like you know if you have a typo it will give you an error also we cannot use the angle bracket over here so if you if you use the angle bracket and if you run it you see it's giving us an error so that concluded this video i hope you understood how to use the const and enum variable and as well the formatting output and the header files well the header files is really useful because if you include all, a lot of libraries and then you can actually uh, make another header file and uh, mention that in that header file so i hope you enjoyed this video so if you like the video press the like button if you loved it please subscribe uh, kind of need it um, like I said I'm working on it and also so if you have any comment or any question please comment below I will try my best to give you the solution or if possible I will try to make a video on it so thank you all for watching my video I will see you guys in my next video